$52,582, two years. And it was all a waste. I invested all that time and all that money on outsourcing the development of a SaaS product that I was trying to launch to first customers. And then I found out that the framework that the developers chose to use needed to be upgraded to the latest version. And when that happened, everything in the app broke. It would need to be completely rebuilt from the ground up. So I was faced with a choice. I could invest even more money in hiring the developers to build the same set of features all over again, or I can invest in myself and spend the rest of that year learning how to code and becoming a full stack software product designer. As you might've guessed, I spent the rest of the year learning to code. So was it worth it? Well, that's the question that I'm gonna unpack for you in this video. I'm Brian Castle. I'm a multi-time founder and full stack product designer and developer. On this channel, I wanna help you make the same transition that I made going from a job to freelancing to building a products business. If that sounds like you, come on and subscribe and let's go. So before I went full stack on products, I started my career as a web designer and a freelancer. And I went on to build a few service-based businesses where I came into my own as an entrepreneur. I even sold a few of those businesses. Basically what that means is I hacked my way through learning how to identify ideas for products and then market and sell those products to customers. But I felt limited by the fact that I couldn't take any product idea that I had and then build it and ship it to customers without spending a lot of money on outsourcing the development. Let's be honest, I'm impatient. I wanna go from idea to product as fast as possible. But I lacked the skill set to control that tempo and just move forward. And so that's what ultimately drove me to finally decide to learn how to code and go full stack. I spent the better part of a year learning how to code, and I continue to learn every year since. But looking back now, I can absolutely say that the year that I chose to learn how to code changed everything. Gaining the full stack product skill set was a total game changer, and it wasn't just financial. There were actually four unforeseen major benefits that I've experienced in my career ever since. Number one, one of the things that I learned early on was that programming and the craft of designing software actually fit my brain perfectly. And I would bet that the same is true for most entrepreneurs. Why? Well, what are we actually doing when we're building a business? We're building systems. We're creating processes that are designed to run the same way every time so that our business can see solid, predictable growth. So once I learned the art of programming and software development, it took my systems mindset to a whole new level. And so that's benefit number one, getting to that next level systems mindset. And that systems mindset has permeated through everything else that I do as a business owner, from marketing to hiring to building products. Number two, before I learned to code, I came from a background in client services. I worked for an agency, and then I became a freelance web designer, and then I built my own agency. So those were all client services. And that influenced the way that I thought about or what I thought were product ideas. I would always think in terms of how can we offer a done-for-you service? In a way, I was blind to all of the potential ideas for software products because I didn't know how to build them. And because I didn't know what I didn't know, I always assumed that product ideas would be too complex, too expensive to build, and just an insurmountable challenge. And so I never even opened my mind to those types of ideas for products. Fast forward to the years after I learned how to code, and now the product ideas are everywhere. Now everything and anything is literally possible. Now, not every product is destined for success in the market, of course, but for someone like me who's out here building a products business, I'm like a kid in a candy store. Number three, since early in my career, I could hold my own as a designer. I could make a web page, make it nice and clean and easy to read. I could design a simple user interface, like a form, and make it easy to use. But back then, I actually had a misconception about what it meant to be a designer. 
I thought it was about styles and picking colors and fonts and making things look pretty or cool. But actually, that's so far from what it means to be a truly great designer. Today, I call myself a product designer, and that means I design products from front to back and from back to front. As a designer, I make things look and feel good on the screen and work well under the hood. Design is just as much about layout and styling as it is about data architecture and programming logic to make a feature work the way that users would expect it to work. So the third benefit of learning to code is it made me a better designer. I'm a product designer now, and personally and creatively, these past few years have been some of the most rewarding years of my professional career. Number four, when I start to build a new product, as someone who's gained the skill of a full stack product developer, I could design and build and ship and launch a new product entirely myself without needing to hire anyone. And sometimes I do, but most of the time, especially if the product gains some traction with customers, I'll hire one or two, maybe three developers to come work with me on the product that I got off the ground myself. Now, remember I told you that story from early in my career where I wasted all that money and all that time on hiring developers? Now, the reason all those dollars were wasted was not because the developers did a bad job. The real issue was that I wasn't just outsourcing the coding work. I was actually outsourcing the technical decision-making and the key architectural design decisions. And I couldn't give any real input on those critical questions because I lacked the technical understanding of the nuances. And so benefit number four of learning how to code is it made me a much better manager. I'm able to collaborate with my developers on a much deeper level. And that means that we're able to design better products, we're able to ship faster, and we all get much more satisfaction out of working together. Now, if you ask me how I feel today after all of these game-changing benefits of having learned how to code and being able to build my own products, if I'm honest, actually, I kind of feel some regret. Because for too many years, I was convinced that I was not cut out to be a full-stack software developer. I thought that all the pros possessed some magical power that I did not have. I wish I didn't resort to fully outsourcing development for all those years. I wish I didn't wait so long to decide to learn how to code myself. But learning how to code definitely was not easy. It took me a year before I was able to build and ship my own apps. And knowing what I know now, there are quite a few shortcuts that I wish I had. So if you want to shorten your learn to code journey to half the time that it took me, watch my next video where I will give you that roadmap. See you there.